Hey y'all, what up? This is Just That Dude and this is Just That TV. And I am back at it again with another catfish review. <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> I am here with Catfish Season 6, Episode 2, Jeanette and Derek. Okay, so the show starts off with a young lady by the name of Sean Ty. She calls into the show about her mom, Jeanette, who is talking to this guy named Derek. They was talking for about, I believe they said nine months or a year. And um, Jeanette is 40 years old. She lives in Orlando, Florida. And Derek is 27 and he lives in Atlanta. And Jeanette just says, like, she just, you know, she works a lot, so, you know, she's lonely, you know, she needs some companionship, you know, she needs somebody there, you know, to make her kitten purr. She gets all POF, plenty of fish, and she meets this dude named Derek, and, you know, they hitting it off, you know, liking each other. And, you know, she ends up falling in love with Derek, y'all. She loves her some Derek. And Derek is loving on her and talking about fucking, you know, getting married and starting a family. And I was like, bitch, you 40 years old, so I mean, <laughs> the clock is ticking, but I ain't gonna say nothing, though, you know. Don't be mad at me, it's just jokes. So, um... Yeah, so, you know, they've been talking for about nine months or a year or whatever. And, you know, she just like, well, me, let's, let's video chat. He like, no, nah, boo, I can't video chat because, you know, my front camera don't work. And I'm like, okay, well, bitch, use the bag. That's how we used to do it back in the day, bitch. Get hood on that hoe, bitch. Post that motherfucking phone up with the motherfucking mirror in the back of it so you can see yourself. Like, bitch, don't act like you don't know, because you know. But, you know, I guess, because she old, she bought that shit. And she was like, okay, well, you know, like, Orlando, from Orlando to Atlanta, you know, it's only like six hours or whatever like that, you know. Let's meet up. When are you free? You know, he can never meet up or whatever like that he always working he ain't never trying to take off work for her you know just like the usual just the usual bullshit ass lines you hear or whatever like that so you know she just fed up with it she tired so she want answers so Neven was like alright bitch we gonna give you these answers that you desire so they take Shantae over to this little coffee shop or whatever like that and they talking or whatever, trying to get, they trying, they about to start investigating. So they looks up fucking, first they look through the pictures because Jeanette emailed them some pictures. So they look through the pictures or whatever and they realize like dude got a motherfucking, first of all, all the motherfucking dude pictures was selfies. Then they realized that he had a motherfucking Snapchat. So they're like, okay, well, I mean, if he taking selfies and this nigga got a Snapchat, then obviously his motherfucking front camera is working. So why she bought that dumb ass excuse, I don't know. But whatever. So then they go to search his motherfucking picture and some dude named Jermail pop up. And they like, mm-mm, like immediately. Like he popped up immediately. So they was like, mm-mm, like, hold on, who the fuck is Dramel? So they start going through his pictures or whatever, and they see that this nigga's legit, like, he posted with his crew and everything, like, he just, he in it. So then they come across this one picture where <clears throat> he in his motherfucking football uniform or whatever, and it's like class of 16, and they like, this little boy ain't still in high school, is he? Y'all come to motherfucking find out this nigga is in motherfucking high school. This nigga's about 17, 18 years old. And I was like, bitch, 17 to 18? Like, what the fuck they put in the milk nowadays? Because that little boy did not look like he was about 17 to motherfucking 18. Now I ain't gonna lie, some of them pictures he did. Some of them pictures he did look a little young, like when he was standing around, little, when he was standing around all his little white friends or whatever like that. 
he did look young, but then the pictures that he sent her, he looked grown as fuck. And I was like, look, bitch, y'all gotta stop putting all these hormones and shit in our food, cause that's probably why Tiger got fucked up. No, let me stop. <laughs> so, you know, they all like, oh shit, like, damn. So they was like, okay, well, I mean, like, what the fuck? Let me search this phone number. So they search the phone number and some bitch named Derricka pop up. So they like, what? Derricka? And you know, Neve had his little flashbacks and shit like, oh my God, what if it's his mother? And I'm like, bitch, everybody's mama is not trying to catfish somebody. Like, damn, this bump is irritating. So they was like, okay, well let's go take this information back to Jeanette. So her thing was, this bitch like, oh my God, I've been talking to a child. I've been talking to a child. And I'm like, no bitch, like, no. You was not talking to no child. Like, she's still convinced like, bitch, this is Derek, but he just young. And I'm like, no bitch, like, you're not about to get your cougar on, sorry. It's not Derek, period, girl. Like, wake up, like, come on. Her daughter should have showed her some other episodes. That's what she should have did because, like, but anyway, they go and they fucking call Derek. And right off the bat, I was like, that's not Derek. <laughs> I was like, that's not Derek. So, Neve was asking little questions and shit. Like, okay, well, we already know the truth. So, stop playing the bullshit and let us come meet you. And bitch was like... Well, you know, like, I don't want to lose her or whatever. Like, I really love her. So, yeah, whatever. I will meet y'all. So, Neve was like, is your real name Derek? And he was like, no. And then Neve was like, well, are you really freaking 27? And he was like, no, I'm 31. Neve was like, dumb. I'm like, Neve. <laughs> so, they tell her all this motherfucking information. This bitch just, you know, she's sad. But she like, whatever. Let's go to Atlanta and you know, let's just see what it is. So they fucking get ready, go to Atlanta or whatever like that, get all the way to motherfucking Derek's house and knock on the motherfucking door. Now, I can't lie and say that I was shocked. Like I can't lie because for one, this is catfish. For two, I don't know, it just seems like this shit is so predictable now. Like, you can really tell what's going on with what and what is going, what the outcome is going to be before they even fucking say it. Like, you can already tell. So, I already knew what was up. So, so somebody opened the door. They cracked that bitch, though. Like, they thought it was Jehovah's Witness or somebody. And I'm like, bitch, open the door. So, uh, Neve was like, okay, are you Derek? And all you hear is the motherfucking voice about some... Yeah, I'm Derek. And I'm like, bitch, if you don't bring your ass outside, stop trying to play these games. So motherfucking Derek brings her ass outside. And I'm like, oh my God, girl. 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 <laughs> girl. <laughs> okay, like, I'm like, Yeah, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Like, <laughs> so Derek, the lady thug, comes out and she just like, "Hey y'all, what's up? Like, what's up? Yeah, it's me. My name not Derek, but it's Derek. You know, just add an A at it. You know, it's me. I'm sorry for what I did. She like, well, why did you do it? You the one I've been talking to. Why did you? Why would you lie to me all this time? So she like, I mean. I was bored. I ain't had nothing to do, so I was just trying to pass the time. And I'm like, bitch, wrong answer. Wrong motherfucking answer. For one, humble your motherfucking self. If you if act like you love this bitch, don't say no dumb shit like that because I'd have just straight off stole your ass for real, for real, for saying you was bored. But the bitch cleared it up. She cleared it up because she was like, you know, she was talking to people on there, whatever. She was bored until so she met motherfucking Jeanette. And, you know, Jeanette kind of changed that stuff for her, you know. She kind of changed, and I was like, I don't know. Like, I mean, if you say so, whatever you say. But Jeanette was trying to hear that shit. Jeanette was like, But you lied, but you're a liar. What you said ain't true because you lied about who you is. And I wanted to be like, Okay, Jeanette, I mean, the bitch, the, her feelings still can be true, even though she lied. 
just say, bitch, you can't get past the fact that she lied. Don't say that the whole thing was a lie because she lied about who she was. Like, come on now, girl. But she was hurt. She was mad. She was over it. Bitch was like, ooh, I just want to really want to slap your ass right now. And I'm like, Jeanette, nah. You foolish for motherfucking falling for this catfish, bitch. But you ain't that damn stupid to walk over to the baby thug and try to motherfucking slap her because... Bitch, she look like she will fuck you up, bitch. I wouldn't even try her ass, all right? So, Jeanette just like, she just over it or whatever like that. So, they kind of leave and, you know, they come back and they try to get um, Derricka's side of the story. And Neve was just like, you know, basically Jer Derricka was just saying the same kind of shit, you know, just like, She's sorry. It was just like a classic ass catfish story. She was just like, she's sorry and she love her and all this other shit. She want her to forgive her. So Neve was just like, you know, I guess some of that shit was true. You know, did your mama really die or whatever? So Derek kind of broke it down. It was like, yeah, her mama did die. At, I think she said when she turned 16, like on her 16th birthday, her mama passed away. And then after her birthday, her grandfather passed away. Or whatever and they kind of like fucked her up and ever since then she was kind of like on her own so she had to do what she had to do to survive she was out there selling drugs or whatever she got caught up by the motherfucking by 12 and they fucking arrested her ass and i guess somewhere in jail you know somebody was like huh, you want to survive up here you're gonna be my bitch so what's up and you know she started liking older motherfucking females and when she got out, I guess she found the right one who was like, hey, what's up, what's up? Or, you know, she did whatever she had to do to, you know, get where she at. That's what she kind of said. That's how I kind of took it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I ain't judging you, bitch, do you? So, they fucking, like, gave him a little minute to talk and, you know, to sit down and chill and hopefully reconcile something. And she was just saying the same motherfucking thing. She's like, I'm sorry. You know, like, I don't want to lose you. And can you please just give it a chance? Like, let's just work this out. And Jeanette was like, well, I mean, I fell in love with you, but not you. You know, like, basically, Jeanette just not into girls. And I mean, it just is what it is. Like, I don't care how big, burly, and fucking, you know, stocky you is, girl. Like... You just didn't do it for Jeanette. And Jeanette was like, I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Like, I wish you well. Hopefully you find somebody who will love you for all of you. And I bet 25, you know, you're going to be a good person to them too, you know. No shade, but I swear to God, it looked like Derrica got a big ass motherfucking strap on somewhere in her motherfucking closet. Like, for real, for real. Like, a big retarded ass. Mo okay off the subject so <laughs> so you know she just told Derek like she can't do it and this is the last time you're gonna hear from me and like she was just over it like I guess she couldn't she couldn't get over the fact that it was a girl or whatever so she just left Derek sitting there Derek looked all sad and shit and I was like bitch you better play that shit up for the cameras so um two months motherfucking later they talked to uh Jeanette's and Shantae and you know they said they doing good or whatever like that she's been talking to she's been talking to uh, Derrica she said she's still hurt but it's better and I'm like whatever that means bitch so <laughs> They talked to Derrica. Derrica was like, you know, yeah, they is talking. You know, it's not the same, but she just happy that they friends or whatever. So I'm like, okay, well, that's good, girl. You do you, you know, you know. That's the type of people I like. I don't like them motherfucking people because, look, for real, for real. You got them motherfucking gay people who will literally get upset because they can't fucking change you and because you don't like them or you don't go that way so they should be like fuck you fuck you like I don't want to talk to you no more blah 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 so that was nice that she wasn't all that possessive and fucking you know predatorial and she was just like you know it's cool to be friends you know I would at least accept that and I was like you go Derricka but that was the fucking episode hopefully y'all liked it or whatever I mean like I said it was just like a classic catfish episode 
it was cute or whatever, but it is what it is. So make sure y'all like this video. Fucking share this video everywhere, all over your social media, and tell me what y'all think down in the comments. If you haven't, subscribe. See ya.